Gopalpur Beach in Odisha is packed with thousands of people celebrating Kartik Purnima, a holy day that marks Odisha's glorious maritime heritage. On 12th October 2013, it was on the Gopalpur coast that Cyclone Phylon made its landfall with wind speeds of 220 km per hour. Close to a million people were evacuated to safe areas. The cyclone ravaged more than 14,500 villages. In Ganjam district, about 90,000 houses were fully or partially damaged. <laughs> In Koyiri, Ute Kona in the Roilu. Roila Pora out a potru matipodiola. Odisha's coastline is prone to cyclones, storm surges, heavy rainfall, and floods. After Cyclone Phylon, Odisha Disaster Recovery Project ODRP was initiated by the government of Odisha with assistance from the World Bank to provide disaster resilient housing and public infrastructure in the affected areas. After uh, filing, the sea coast was uh, badly affected. Then government uh, has decided that uh, we reconstruct all damaged houses and all kacha houses located in 0 to 5 km uh, from the high tide line. It was agreed to by the government that we should give at least resilient housing or pokka houses to the poor people or vulnerable people of these coastal districts to save their lives in future. Under ODRP, about 16,000 multi-hazard resilient houses are being constructed in Ganjam and Kurda districts. Accordingly, about 3,000 houses were in situ reconstructions and about 13,000 houses were to be reconstructed in 138 relocation sites. The government decided to go for an owner-driven housing reconstruction program. OSDMA roped in Gram Vikas, a non-government organization, as a social technical support agency to support and enable the beneficiaries in rebuilding their houses. Gram Vikas's responsibilities included mobilizing the communities, preparing contour and habitation plans, also to enable and empower them to have the ability to make owner-driven housing a success. So we had to do uh, quite a bit of community education to, to bring the, the individual households to a position where they would be able to, to supervise the construction that was happening. They are engaged to construct their own house. So there is no intermediary, no contractor engaged in this process. Initially, the reconstruction program faced an acute shortage of masons. The project decided to conduct a mason training program under which about 2,300 people were trained. We have completed 53 hours of mason training in all our five blocks of Ganjam district. And one of the bigger, bigger achievement is we have trained more than 40% of women masons. To ensure quality and proper utilization, the total sum of rupees 3 lakh is provided to the house owner in five stage-wise tranches. The tranche payment at each stage is released only after the quality is verified and certified. Village development committees and village sanitation and water committees are being formed that will ensure that people themselves shape their own sustainable future. For people, moving into the new home signifies a new, safe and a better life for themselves and their children. <laughs> Thank you.